Last week on CBS News, we told you about how officials want to make air travel for families easier. On Monday, the Transportation Department rolled out a new dashboard that shows parents which airlines guarantee they can sit next to their children under 13 at no extra cost. So far, American, Alaska, and Frontier Airlines have gotten rid of the fees to choose seats that are together and to ensure family seating. For more on the ins and outs of this, let's bring in CBS News senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg, who is currently in Maui, Hawaii. Lucky dog. Uh, Peter, how will this uh, tool help parents who are, let's say they're going to book their next flight, how, how will it help them? Well, the tool is going to give them an idea very quickly as to which airlines will not charge them to sit together on the flight. But it's really just a preliminary step in anticipation of what everybody expects will be formal Department of Transportation rulemaking, which will then ban the practice. So you mentioned some of the airlines that have gotten ahead of this. One in particular was United Airlines that did it as well, saying they've come up with a whole new rule, uh, a new plan, if you will, American, Alaska, Frontier, and United to allow them to sit together without charging them. But John, in all reality, it's not really such a new plan. Anytime anybody makes a reservation, you've got to give them their date of birth. So anytime you have a family of three or a family of four traveling together, they know right away who's under the age of 12. It should be very easy for the airlines to put in a system in their algorithms, if you will, to allow them to sit together at no additional cost. And the no additional cost is crucial. In addition to the fact you no longer, as a parent, have to negotiate with your fellow passengers to once you're on the plane to try and sit next to your own kids. So how much money could we could could consumers save here? Well, remember, it's all about the upsell. If you look at a seating chart at most airlines, any coach seat usually has, towards the front of the plane, has a, has a premium price. It could be anywhere from $15 to $60. So for a family of four, you're talking about $240 to be able to sit together. But it goes beyond that. There's a safety issue here. In the event of an emergency, what family doesn't want to be next to their kids? And what kids don't want to be next to their families to be able to help them evacuate a plane safely and in, in, in a very good time. So there are all sorts of things at work here, but get ready. The USDOT is more than likely going to issue a formal rule, which will make this practice illegal moving forward. So airlines will have to uh, offer this. Is that what you're saying? Well, two things are going to speak here. First, the marketplace is when you have four airlines already saying they're going to do it, the other airlines are now at a competitive disadvantage because of the cost involved. But then you also have the fact that it's going to happen for safety reasons. And that's the most important thing of all. So, uh, so what else should, uh, let's, let's throw the, the, the larger question at you, Peter, which is what else should families know before this summer uh, travel seating, uh, season? Well, keep in mind, the planes are going to be full if you look at all the projections that I've been looking at. So you want to start making your reservations as early as you can because you may have a situation where there really are no seats together. Now the airlines have to start rolling the dice and moving other people around. That could get a little dicey. But the bottom line is, at the very least, they cannot charge passengers to sit together as a family. All right, Peter Greenberg, thanks so much.